internet, I got a story to tell you. So the other night, I was just, you know, lazing around, doing whatever, playing some Half-Life 2, having a good time. And then midnight rolls around, I decide to go to bed. Not 30 seconds after my head hits the pillow, I hear some quick little footsteps in the hallway, uh, a gurbling noise, and then three plops. I turn on my lamp, look out my bedroom door, and my dog is sitting there with a sad, pathetic look on its face and a pile of barf in front of it. it. Took me about like 20 minutes to clean that up, so that was awesome. You know, good times, good fun times. But uh, yeah, pretty much. You know, I should, I should make that a segment at the start of every game I have. Just do that every time from now on, and I'll call the segment like stupid fucking stories. That nobody gives a shit about by Ferris. It sounds like a plan. And then you guys can comment giving me feedback on like how little of shits you gave about the story I told to see which story winds up the most shitless, if that makes sense. But yeah, it's alright because I've got a battle here against I Devins uh, from Quid. And uh we were just like, hey, I want a battle, you want a battle. Let's just battle. And that's what happened. And this is it. This is uh, that battle I was just talking about. Which is pretty cool. So, uh, yeah. It's funny because the game's already like a quarter over. And I haven't even talked about anything yet. But uh, that's alright. I brought up Vaporeon thinking that uh, I'd be able to counter the Infernape. But uh, his close combat did like two thirds to me. Because he's banded. I protect just because I can, hoping that, like, I wasn't looking at the screen when you, when that turn happened, so I didn't really know exactly what happened, like if he got a crit with some random move or something, but the protect kind of, you know, hinted me that he was banded, so that's alright. I bring in NBZ because he is a majestic, fiery, soaring chicken, um, that's, at least that's how I picture him anyway. Uh, go for the air slash, he brings in Mandibuzz and I get a crit, probably didn't matter that much though, I mean. I can't see the outcome of the game I mean, change that much if I didn't get it, but it's alright. So uh, he brings in Swampert now, and I don't switch out because uh, I don't really have anything to go to, and he just boiling waters, so yeah. Plus there was Stealth Rock up anyway, so um, I would have only gotten one more switch in and I couldn't really see a time when that would have helped. Bring in Breloom because it's pretty much my only chance of winning the game, I think. I'm pretty sure. I sub, hoping he'll want to switch, fearing the seed bomb, but he doesn't. Uh, he just ice beams, and then that's gonna. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. It's gonna happen again. He's gonna ice beam. I'm gonna sub. It's gonna break my sub. And uh, if you're starting to notice a pattern here, then uh, good job, man. You're really keen on this kind of stuff, but. Uh, yeah, uh, he switches out now, the turn that I decide to seed bomb him, thinking he's going to stay in, and part of me thinks that was just him making a really good move, so uh, props to him for that. Uh, I bring in Sharpedo as fodder, and uh, Sharpedo, on the defensive side, not so hot. He just got OHKO'd by a resisted move, so that's always fun. And then Infernape just takes a buttload of recoil. I bring in... Uh, Scizor, hoping a bullet punch to kill it, but uh, he switches, so that's not good. And uh, now I'm just like, well, shit, what am I gonna do? I can bring in uh, Metagross, his death fodder, uh, predicting the ice beam. That was why I brought him in. Not, not as fodder, but to, um, to take the ice beam, but then I get frozen, so that's fun. Um, and honestly, I don't think I changed the game too much either, just because. Swampert couldn't have really. Oh, yeah, Swampert. Yeah, I have the Swampert. Okay, uh, Metagross, I meant, couldn't really do anything to the rest of his team anyway. And I just stay frozen. So, yeah. He's gonna Earthquake now. Pretty sure I'm not. He, because, like, at that point, he was sure I wasn't gonna go into Breloom. So he just started Earthquaking me. And I die. Bring in. Oh, you're shitting me, because that's what you say when you see a Breloom. You're just like, God, you're shitting me. And, uh, pretty much. That's, at least that's what I do. I don't know if that's what you guys do, though. I'm pretty sure that's what most people do. Kill him with the Seed Bomb. He brings in Infernape, and now I am a dead Breloom. 
because I cannot take a choice band of Flare Blitz whatsoever. Uh, if I was him, I would have gone for the, the close combat though, just because uh, it still would have killed and he could save his Infernate, but maybe he just did that to be safe, making sure it would kill me. And he probably had something to deal with the rest of my guys anyway, so, you know, playing it safe, that's what I would probably do anyway. Bullet Punch the Metacham doesn't kill, and then High Jump Kick kills me, and, uh, oh, wow, I already lost. Okay. <laughs> Alright, great. Um, yeah, that was a pretty good game, I Devin, so uh, I had fun. Got to test out some new guys, and uh, it was pretty cool. Uh, he's got some pretty good games, and I think he's undersubbed for the quality of his videos, so let's change that, guys. I'll leave a link in, I'll leave his link in the description, and thank you all very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.